Hey everyone, today we're diving into something pretty special. How to leave your home to your kids and loved ones. It's an amazing gift, right? But it's not always straightforward. Let's chat about making it work smoothly. First off, we need to tackle capital gains tax. It can be a bit of a roadblock, but guess what? A revocable trust can help you skip over these taxes and make things easier. Now let's talk about trusts versus deed options. Putting your home in a revocable trust and having your kids or loved ones as beneficiaries can cut down on estate taxes. It's a big decision though, and once it's done, there's no going back. On the other hand, if you add your kids or loved ones to the deed, they get ownership right away. But this doesn't give you as much control as the trust does. Ever thought about gifting your home? It's a way to enjoy your home now and pass it on later. You can do a direct gift, but using a revocable trust is usually better for keeping things under control. There's also the option of selling your home to your kids or loved ones. If you sell it for less than it is worth, the difference counts as a gift. This one needs some legal and tax advice to make sure you don't hit any snacks. Deciding how to pass on your home is a big personal choice. It's all about your situation and what you want. It's super important to get advice from legal pros to guide you through it all. If you or anyone you know needs a hand with real estate stuff, don't be shy and reach out. Your home isn't just a building, it's part of your story. Thanks for hanging out with me today and catch you next time.